Business Secrets of the Pharaohs is okay, I guess. Carrying on the trend from the previous episode, I think this episode also has one side of the story that's a lot better than the other, with that being Mark's vanity publishing bit. But even saying that, I don't think I really buy that Mark would fall so easily into the trap that Greg, who is essentially a cartoon stereotype of a con man, would set for him. I'm surprised they didn't have him literally twirl his moustache at some point. I guess what they were going for here was that Mark was so desperate to get his idea out there that he'd blindly buy into anyone that seemed to believe in him, and you know, I get that. I've just never really been the biggest fan of episodes where Mark acts a bit weird like this, take Dream Job from Series 1 as another example. Obviously Business Secrets of the Pharaohs, Mark's book, was spoken about all the way back in Series 1 as something he was working on, and I really like the callback here, because it makes the project seem legitimate and like it's something that actually exists in the world of Peep Show, and not something that appears out of thin air for a single episode. I think my favourite book related scene is the bit with Mark at the club. I found the way that Simon was used in Series 7 to be really lacklustre and forgettable, but I feel like a scene like this is the best way to use him and the newly introduced hipster friends. They aren't a big part of the episode and they don't overstay their welcome, they're just nice norms, Norman forces, to play off of Mark, which isn't actually that common in a show that features so many weird people. Speaking of weird people, we've also got Celia here, Jeremy's life coach tutor. To be honest, I don't find her nor the whole life coaching thing very interesting. Maybe after being on for so many episodes by now, the show is starting to feel like it's just treading water, because I wouldn't say there's anything bad about her character really, it all just feels very formulaic. Jeremy gets an attractive woman to fall for him for some reason, who then turns out to be unexpectedly strange and eventually gets annoyed at him. I don't know whether it's peep show fatigue or something, but I feel like we've seen this exact same scenario play out more than enough times by this point. Plus, the sex scene feels very similar to the one from Dance Class in Series 2, probably not helped by the fact that they always use the same camera angles for these scenes. Though I do like the moment at the end where Mark gets Jez the bogus certificate. Sure, it's meaningless and they both know that, but it's a nice moment between the two characters and allows for this to be an episode that ends on a somewhat happy note, which is actually pretty uncommon.